Alright, welcome back to Crypto's Rich Boy. Today, we're going to be talking about TCG World Metaverse, The Dragons, and TCG 2.0. But before we get started, guys, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and share it with your friends. Now, we have the price of TCG coming in at 5.523 cents at 1.19% down for the day guys bitcoin is kind of taking dominance still uh money is flowing into the markets uh you know it's trying to hold that twenty eight thousand dollar level and the rest of the markets is kind of just slightly down or holding i think tomorrow is going to be a big day uh, i think what's going to happen tomorrow the fed meeting comes out i thought it was today but it's actually tomorrow um, the results and it's going to either pump the market um, if they pause the rates or maybe even if they just raise it like 0.25 if they raise it 0.5 I think we're going to kind of just keep trading sideways and if they raise it more than 0.5 we're going to dump um, maybe even 0.5 we might dump just a little bit so if we raise money's going to flow into Bitcoin like it does and then give it you know a couple days couple weeks and then it'll start flowing into all the other coins, all the altcoins, all the micro cap coins. Uh, so I think TCG is going to have the run in the next little bit. Uh, but we just have to wait for tomorrow, to be honest. Tomorrow is going to be a big pivotal moment. I mean, we already have all these banks not doing well. So people are flocking into Bitcoin. Um, so normally how it works is... Bitcoin runs than the rest. If you look at the dominance at the top, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's right. You see the price and it says like community exchanges uh, or cryptocurrencies exchanges community product earn, learn right above the product. If you look straight up, it says BTC um, right there. <clears throat> and uh, so BTC is taking 46%. So out of all the money, Bitcoin has almost half of everything in the market. Now that number should go down. Uh, you know, when we see the altcoin rally or altcoin run, that number normally goes down to the 30s or even high 20s. And I think even in the bull market, like <clears throat> it's just it's all over the place. So, um, what does that mean for TCG 2.0? Um, I think that if Bitcoin, if if Bitcoin does slow down because, like, let's say they raise it 0.25, I think. Bitcoin will slow down. The money will stay in there because people are already like um, anticipating this 0.25 basis point rate kite. Um, and I think we are going to see the altcoins start pumping. Um, so that should be, you know, in the, in the, the short to midterm, uh, that's, that's where I see it going. So the dragons, 0.1247. So we got dragons... Uh, selling for two twenty six fifty four plus gas fees. So if you guys want to get um, some dragons, you guys can go ahead and grab those for around two hundred and twenty six dollars and fifty four cent plus those gas fees. So right now you could potentially get four for a thousand, which that'll get you a fighter, or eight for two thousand, which that'll get you a flyer. So that would be you know pretty pretty legit there. So we have, let's see, let's go ahead and refresh this. We have 27.1 thousand followers on Twitter. Uh, we are beyond excited to announce TCG World has partnered with Real Destiny AI to bring artificial intelligence to the metaverse. So the metaverse space, the gaming space, um, has been kind of the trend. I think it's going to continue to be a slight trend. And I think the AI space is going to lead the way. So it is... Uh, it was a very crucial and important um, and awesome thing that they are implementing AI into the metaverse. I think this is going to help TCG push so much further. Um, so that is a very brilliant, smart move. Good morning, all. Have a great Tuesday. Want to enter into the metaverse? Own a plot of land, TCG World, to play the game. Build on your land, create a business, live in your dream home, and so much more. So, guys, look at this. Looking absolutely amazing. You can see the bird in the sky, the trees. So, guys, it, it almost, like, sometimes I'm like, wait, is this is this, like, somebody's actually taking a photo, or is this, ah, 
Jones. So this is uh, this is real stuff. I mean, this is um like it confuses me for a second. So, but that is the metaverse. Looks super real, right? So, uh, shout out to Roy for this sprite report. Um, yet another um. Not episode, I was going to say episode, I'm thinking about TV. Um, another, uh, what's it called? Uh, another one, I guess. I can't think of the word, but uh, like another issue, I guess. So, the weekly catch-up in TCG World. So guys, take a look at that. It has some more about the AI and Destiny. So that is pretty sweet. So we have the leaderboard, TCG Sensei, 3,203, Bilbo, 33.3, .3, 451, and the Sprite Rider, 349. Um, so shout out to those top three. So um, look at that, Shelly Schiller, always see her in the... Um, in the um, tele telegram group so it says official tcg i mean i'm not sure if it was destiny or not but your metaverse must have created me let's go tcg world metaverse is going to be one fun uh cross chain nft metaverse and i can't wait to get in and get on tcg dragon cave club here i come so hey there we go dragon cave club so, uh, Web3 Comics, they are a large team of Marvel and DC writers, artists, colorists, letterists, and editors. Owners of Cyber Hornets and Animus NFTs will enjoy special perks and discounts to partner comics and will include and a comic store and gallery in TCG World. So that's pretty sweet. So there's going to be a gallery in TCG World and a comic store that will provide, uh, you know, virtual comic books. So that is legit there. So I'm going to, let me touch on something else. So I had, uh, you know, sometimes people comment and uh, there was a comment the other day and someone was like, I think TCG is like a slow rug pull. So, I'm here to say I 100 million percent disagree. Um, the thing is, is like following TCG for you know a couple years now, and seeing what the team has done is absolutely brilliant. I've actually heard non-TCG people say to build a metaverse is extremely time consuming there's so much that goes into it you have to create you know um just so many different aspects and it takes time that and it may not be a bad thing because right you know for the last couple months or over a year now we've kind of been in that bear market we've came up um but you really don't want to push in the crypto industry in the crypto market you don't really want to push um the the um sorry had a, a message so you really don't want to push too much what when when you're in this when you're in this space uh you know early um in in the time frame of when the market's not doing well because you just don't have that many eyes so you know i think since the market's doing well um i think it, the, the time really to push is maybe start pushing little stuff and they are like the ai thing was huge that's pretty sweet um start pushing little stuff now that the market's coming back up but really have that big big like performance that that kind of uh that uh what do they call it? encore um you know really show yourself <clears throat> uh the pretty much beginning of next year beginning of next year is really when it's going to count uh it's the happenings happening the presidential elections are happening people want to make you know people want to uh, you know, all the politics, they want to look good. So they're going to start lowering rates and passing out money and doing all this stuff to make all, everybody love them. And then they get in the office. It takes about six months to a year 
for them to implement what they really want to implement. And that's why I think another reason why we have these cycles, the four-year cycles, if you think about it, the president gets in, they implement what they want to implement, and then they, it, it takes, so if they get in, so like, for example, so, um, so this next one, so they'll, the voting will happen next year. They'll get in 2025, 2026, they're, they'll start implementing what they want to implement. And that's another reason on top of the, uh, Bitcoin halving cycle that I feel like those years are really, really like crazy because it's a shock to the economy it's a shock to people they're like whoa this change is happening whoa they're doing this they're implementing this <clears throat> so that's another reason why so um it's about next year is gonna be tcg's time to shine guys not a rug pull and i am 99.99999 percent sure of that so you can't be 100 percent sure of anything but you know <clears throat> that's pretty good odds right um 99.99 percent sure um, so anyway, that is the updates. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mystery box um, and see what we got going on there. So it's going to be 3,774 left. So guys, go ahead and uh, jump on over and get in, get some mystery boxes, see what you guys get. Let me know what you guys get in the comment section down below. Um, there are your numbers for the staking. Remember, passive income is always good. And then we have the map. So, um, so I guess I was um, told yesterday or informed. Um, I guess East has always been there. They just switched it uh, to where I guess the GG tour is the symbols not there. I kind of figured that, but um you know so thanks for uh you know the update for that and asia north we have forest and gg and um east or gg tour city um there so look at that and there's our ai mascot destiny so pretty pretty legit stuff guys cannot wait to see what is in store uh guys this year there might be, you know, it's going to be, I don't know if it's like 2019, you had the, 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 the Bitcoin run. It ran like, I think 26% or 28% in a couple days or something like that, in like a month. And then you had a major, major altcoin rally. So some people think that we are going to get that altcoin rally before the main parabolic bull market next year. Um, they think we're going to get it. So keep an eye out on that. So the only thing I can say about that is if something runs this year, um, not financial advice, <clears throat> but a tip that I'm using for myself, um, you know, other than there's one off projects like for me, TCG that I really, really, really believe in. I'm just going to hold, but for me, I'm going to have a part of my portfolio that I'm going to put into some coins and um when they run take out find another coin that hasn't ran yet that has pretty good you know do some research and then kind of keep bouncing around um but tcg is not gonna be a part of that portion of my portfolio that that uh, tcg is gonna be my hodl portfolio so um you know we may like i guess more of the story we may have some good run-ups so it's going to be something where uh just kind of Keep an eye out. Make sure you're taking profits because as fast as they pump, guys, they can come right back down. I've seen it too many times. I'm like, oh, no, this project, you know, <clears throat> um, it was when I researched a project for like, I don't know, like an hour. And I'm like, oh, this is going to the moon. Heck, yeah. Like, all right. I've, I like 3x my money. It's going to go to 100x like overnight. And then I wake up the next morning and I'm pretty much back where I started. And I'm like... Man, I had hundred dollars. <sighs> I turned into you know three four hundred bucks or whatever. Now I'm back at one fifty. Like oh, I could have had so much more money. Uh, like you know, but it was still a win. So it took some profit. So it was good. So anyway, guys, enough of me rambling on today. Um, that is the updates I have. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and share it with your friends. Until next time, guys.